Hello everyone, it's Maya here. Welcome to my channel, Maya Divination. What I will be working here today with uh, and presenting for you as the in the form of the flip through is the Raven's Prophecy Tarot. And this deck has been published by Llewellyn. Um, you possibly don't know, but I'm not the biggest fan of um, the way, you know, when it comes to the cardstock as such. So um, I don't have a big hopes when it comes to the quality. It says 2015, possibly published at the time. We'll check it in the, in the guidebook. So what we'll do is here, we just get this opened and we see what we have inside, okay? Obviously we'll have a deck. <laughs> so it's a, now, here you go. Now we have this opened. Um, see, the reason I'm not the big fan is again, because it's the court card quality. Um, and I know they don't change much unless they will go through with the linen stock, which is with one of their newest decks, which could improve the situation. Anyway, this one is the old type of their um, cardstock. I like the that's the backs as well of the card, possibly some of you know. And uh, I really, really like it, but it's not reversible. And that's the guidebook. Okay, and to be honest, partially because I was so interested in this deck, it was actually the guidebook itself. So, um, obviously I'm not going to read it now. I just wanted to see what was the date. Okay, so that's the, the one I have here. It's the first edition, 7th printing, 2021. Uh, and the first one possibly was uh, published 2015. Okay, so in the in the guidebook we have introduction about the team, how to do reading, the spreads, major arcana, minor arcana, and separate when it comes to suits. So we have the stories, how to do a reading, spreads. Here we go. We'll have a look at the spreads. Yeah, very quickly. Single card card spread. Kind of Celtic cross spread. That's it. Okay. Is that the, the soul spread? <laughs> we got. Yep, that's all. Well, it's it. Oh, I missed it. Tree card spread here. Past, present, future. Okay. Hopefully, this one will be okay. Uh, anyway. And here we go with the cards. We have a keywords, description of fish, and obviously we would have only the normal position, no reversal here. Tree of God, blah blah blah. Sorry. <laughs> the ones. Okay, so the last suits here we would have as, as the ones. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Well. Ooh. Okay, it's the bags, it's the poly here as well. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would possibly will go out and then just the decks will come in there. Because you see, that's nice and sturdy. This one here is not the best. Anyway, it's just the box, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Get this on the side here. There was a small struggle here, but did I write the straight away cards here? No. <laughs> now, so for all the foils here. Okay. So, okay, the card qualities. Hmm. Okay. Oh, dear Lord. 
sorry for that because it's just the see because i'm just kind of looking at the see i have i have four other little decks and i remember i was promising myself i'm not going to buy another one unless they will improve and i have to buy this one because that's the way it is and i really wanted to see the guidebook and i was really interested in the cards so i kind of needed to swallow it so that's my uh that's the tower of dragons by sean mackenzie this one here this is well level in deck let's have a look what is there the same <sighs> Okay, so see this deck was a little bit used. There was not massive amount of usage and it looks like that. And that's where I was mainly upset with and that's what's kind of slightly put me off from using uh, or buying more Llewellyn uh, cards it's just because they are absolutely lovely and they have a great idea so i think amazing decks and i know people do love this card stock but like seriously can you see this this deck was didn't have much usage guys i'm not joking very little few shot i shuffled a few times I didn't do for any kind of maybe one reading, two readings, that's it. And I put it back into the box. And yeah, so. Llewellyn, please, I don't need the super lovely boxes. You can you can make standard one or even the, the normal talk box. But please give the nice cards so they are not destroyed like that just because they were sitting in the box and that's the reason why i kind of stopped using this deck as much but i i guess it's it's better to do it if that's what like i said it's not maybe a, that's what's happening with the deck anyway okay sorry <laughs> i'm hijacking my own video anyway so no gildings orange frame i know people are cutting off the the orange frame as well from this here. I'm not going to do it, I think. If I would do it, I would just possibly just do the top and the sides. I would possibly leave the bottom. Okay. Okay, no worries. So what we'll do is we just go down with the, with the camera here so you can see what I have here. I hope you can see it. Okay, so. I think there will be seven by 12, isn't it? Just bear with me here. So it's seven. Uh, it's not 12, it's nearly 12, guys. It's nearly 12. So they could be they would be a little bit smaller here so as you see if someone has watched let's say any kind of walkthroughs uh done let's say last year this year i guess is no not much different than from previous ones nevertheless i really like the images on this deck it is lovely strength so in terms of the cardstock i'm not the biggest fan but in terms of how lovely this deck is Seems like very gentle deck. Yeah. 
And now we start with cups. <laughs> I've seen people were gilding them, doing this um, basically the, the orange gilding. So that could be a good idea as well. I just wonder would that not just destroy a little bit the cards on the side for me. Take them from here now. Maybe just zoom it slightly more so you can see it. Because some of them are slightly darker. This page of cups. Yeah, just push them a little bit. No. The first when I was looking at the videos, I kind of got it confused with two of ones. Do you have the similar thing? I really like this four of coins. This one is amazing as well. of coins <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. this we're stuck a little bit Coin. king amazing isn't it how lovely it is all depicted ace of swords and that would be hands mainly two of swords three of swords Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, page of swords. A Knight of Swords, Queen, King, and now we go to the last seat, which is the ones, and we have an Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three, Four, and that's amazing, the fifth one, isn't it? Like from this one here. Four of Wands, we have the fire here from the candles. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we go with the page now. Nice. Queen, I love this one. And the king. Okay, so what we will do here is I will just zoom it out here for you. Okay, what I will do here is as well, I'm going to cleanse it a little bit, the deck, and we'll do a, maybe a test drive uh, reading for this deck. Um, or just show the deck for you how it looks like on the table so just bear with me a few seconds hi i'm back again i shuffle my cards and look at that look at this now i hope you can see it uh, 
I'm not shuffling my cards brutally. Look at that. This card is already... I need to possibly try to do it with the... Um, you know, with the permanent black marker, but... Really? Oh, so just a very quick um, recap when it comes to the cards. Uh, published by Llewellyn. Um, they do follow RWS, but very loosely. And no reversals. Uh, each of the uh, cards uh, has the black and white uh, image uh, in the guidebook, so you don't really necessary, you don't really need to have the cards with you, as you see here. And what else? Um, they are seven by twelve. The card stock is shit. Uh, colors, as you see. Um, how they kind of look if you put them on the table. Okay. So I think they really look lovely. So as you see, coins are uh, depicted uh, with uh, flowers. Cups are depicted with ravens. Swords are depicted with hands. Yeah. And uh, ones are depicted with uh, candles. So where we have some ones here. So it's like that. That's actually eight of ones. So, uh, but you know, the, where's the, do, do, do. Oh, possibly I missed them now. Yeah, here we go. So here's the ones. It's actually maybe not the best example, but like this one here. Okay. So. Okay. So what we will do here is um, we'll try to do the reading because uh, I was kind of in the meantime after I cleanse and shuffle the deck. As you see, I damaged my cards already. So bear in mind, gentle shuffling uh, will hurt your deck. It hurt in my King of Wands. That's why I said I need to be careful with getting the low one. Okay, anyway. So um, what I like here, what she said, actually, she, she has an absolutely amazing sense of humor. So the three card reading, right? The, the, our favorite past, present, future. <laughs> this is a slightly more elaborate reading. And I'm, I will often do this if someone is at my house and ask for reading while we are both pressed uh, for time. I like this one. I like this one best for very direct questions. Like, do I need a job? Do I need a new job? Or should I break up with my useless boyfriend? <laughs> So, if my question would be here, why Llewellyn just <laughs> having this kind of cardstock here? The Queen of Wands, it would be some possibly female made, made, make it, made it up the decision about um, the quality of the cardstock. Or someone definitely voiced opinion about it. That's that's the way they want it. Currently, people are just trying to work this out with whatever they are presented. They kind of currently they kind of going along with it. If they want to use their cards, they you know and uh, use this for any kind of esoteric or divination purpose, they just need to go ahead and do it to manifest whatever they want to. So to have all the cards in their hands and or have their hands on amazing decks because they are amazing. Like 
like if you look mostly on, on the decisions or whichever Lewin picks the their cards, they are all have fantastic, absolutely, like this one is just with my head, you know, very close to me, but I have the Witch's Tarot, I have the, I have a Vampire's uh, Tarot Boy, uh, you know, the Ian Daniels, and I have the Anna's K Tarot, this one, and now I have the Raven's Prophecy, so, like, you could not take it away. They literally pick up amazing artists and they really promote, you know, the amazingly the what the artists want to kind of push out there for us in the world. But why? Why? <laughs> Maybe I should ask actually who if they're going to change it. What do you mean, guys? Is that going to change? Can we mean manifest that change? Okay. Would there be any updates for these kind of cards? <laughs> Marry me. I know some people love this card stock. And I said, and I must say, it's not the bed, it's for shuffling. Amazing. But Come on, guys. It cannot be that, you know, you shuffle it and it's, you know, destroyed. You know, like, as much as I like Tic Tacs, like, I can work with this one. It's no problem. They are nice in hand, so on and so forth. But come on, not damage after a few shuffling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being a little bit more emotion more <laughs> more emotional than i supposed to possibly okay i shut up now <laughs> okay is that going to improve in the future near future the hangman <laughs> i'm on the bottom of the big bear <laughs> oh dear lord <laughs> maybe they do something is starting slowly they're hatching <laughs> so they have a tight hands when it comes to it for sure because possibly they sign some contract with the maybe printing company and they are kind of getting away trying to they kind of, they are slowing down, they're thinking about it, they try to look at this from a different perspective, but they still need, <laughs> they need someone else to listen to, somewhere probably higher in the hierarchy of their <laughs> company. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you liked the reading. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Take care.